Hey y'all, I'm Kinsey Ray. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how I installed these clip-ins from Betterly. So for this install, I decided to do wand curls on blown out hair and I think that it turned out so cute. And it looks really natural, like you can't tell me that this is not my hair. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into the details. So the hair that I'll be wearing today is from Better Length and I'll be wearing their new seamless clip-ins in 3B, 3C kinky curly and 16 inches. Now when I heard the word seamless, I got so excited y'all. Because I love clip-ins but depending on the style, sometimes they can look a little bulky. But with these, they lay much flatter than regular clip-ins and literally make the hair look like it's coming from your scalp. And if you're a fan of tape-ins, then you would definitely love these clip-ins because it's pretty much the same technology. They just added the clips so you can clip them in instead of having to tape them to your hair. So I did just use one bundle of hair for this install and that comes with 10 pieces of clip-ins. And I'll have a discount code at the end of the video so definitely stay tuned. So I'm about to go in with my first set and this one comes with 5 clips so this is the longest clip-in. And I'm just going to take that one and put that as my first clip-in so that'll be at the bottom of my hair and I'm pretty much just clipping it from ear to ear. Then I'm going in with another set and this is also a five piece clip in. And I did blow out the hair off camera. I just sprayed a little water on the hair and then just used my blow dryer and just combed it out. And this was only two pieces and as you can see, it already is looking full. So one bundle of hair will definitely get you right. Now I'm going in with a shorter piece. This one has four clips and I'm just putting that around the perimeter and I'm just gonna work my way up until I get to the top. So now that I have all of the clip-ins installed, I'm just going to separate my hair into sections and I'm going to begin wand curling my hair. And I'm starting on this back section of my hair first, but before I do that, I do like to apply heat protectant to the hair because even though it's not my hair, it still is hair and it's human hair and a texture like mine. So I do like to make sure that I'm protecting the hair so that it can last me long. I also like to use a little bit of oil. This is like some smoothing serum that I got from the beauty supply store. And I just put that all over the hair, brush it out one more time, and then I'm going to go ahead and start wand curling it. And y'all, so my actual wand curler actually broke like a few months ago. So I've just been using this small curling iron that I had. And honestly, I like this so much better than the wand curler. And I think it's because with the wand curler, it like goes from big and then it gets skinny at the end. Whereas with this, it's just all one size and I think I kind of like that look better. And y'all can see me taking my hand and kind of grabbing the curl off of the curling iron. That's going to come back to get me later on in the video, which y'all going to see. <laughs> After I finish one curling, I just spray some spritz and then I just move on to the next section. And I'm going to be doing that same process for the next couple clips.
so yeah this is where i messed up at y'all i was getting lazy ended up burning the crap out of my thumb had to wear a band-aid for the rest of the video and y'all i still have like a little burn on my thumb even though it seemed like it didn't touch it for that long i guess because the curling iron was so hot it just girl it burned my finger like bad <laughs> So after I finish wand curling the hair, now I'm going to move on to my leave out. And I like to use this oil as like a heat protectant for my hair. So I just put that all over. And at first I wasn't going to flat iron my hair y'all. And I did just pretty much blow dry it out. But it was still like looking puffy to me. So I decided to go over it with my flat iron just a few times. You definitely don't have to do this. This was just my personal preference because my hair be doing what it want to do. So... I had to get her together but can we just talk about how flat these clip-ins are laying y'all literally the whole time i was doing my hair i was just like i'm definitely about to be wearing these clip-ins a lot like this is about to be my go-to look throw my clip-ins in and call it a day so after i finish straightening my hair i'm gonna do some wand curls and y'all are about to see exactly why i say my hair don't act right because it does not hold a curl it don't stay straight it just it just does what it want to do so me doing these wand curls right now is pretty much pointless but I just did them anyway <laughs> So after that I went off camera I did my makeup put some clothes on and I had pin curled those long curls in the front to try and preserve them didn't really work out but <laughs> I just put some oil in my hands and now I'm just going to be breaking up the curls and just separating them all So after I separated the curls, I just took my little curls down from earlier and um, yeah. So yeah, we just, we just, we're going to try to make it work. I ended up wand curling it again, just one more time because I didn't want to add too much heat to my hair. But ultimately, I just decided to pin it back because my hair do not act right. It just don't act right. Now I'm adding some edge control and I'm going to be laying them down using my toothbrush. So here's me attempting to try and wand curl those pieces one more time but as you will soon see it just it just wasn't working out so we just pinned them back because I, I didn't have time to be fooling around with these all day. So after that I did just kind of play around with my hair just a little bit just to see if I wanted to try and wear the front down. But as I said, I just ended up pinning that part back. But I did take my comb and I kind of fluffed out the wand curls a little bit more because I do kind of like big hair. I like it to look um, kind of messy and not too put together. So I just separated the hair a little more. Thank you. 
all right y'all so here is the finished look like i said i got frustrated and just pinned my hair to the back but honestly i think that it came out really really cute and i'm glad that i did it that way i think the style looks so good and this hair texture matches my hair perfectly also y'all know how bulky hair can get in the front when you're wearing clip-ins and you're trying to do styles like this with these clip-ins literally it was so flat like all I did was swoop my hair to the sides and you couldn't even tell that I had clip-ins in. So the seamless was definitely seamlessing. <laughs> so again, this hair is from Better Length. This is their seamless clip-ins in 3B3C Kinky Curly and I got 16 inches and this is in the natural color. And I only use one bundle of hair for this look. It comes with 10 pieces and I only use 8 out of the 10. So if you're interested in this hair, I will have all of the information in my description box along with a discount code. You can use Kenzie. 1184 for some money off i also have that in my description box so i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye